in America we have rights and there are many people who spend a good 10 years in the production of their theatrical life that gets them to Hollywood. I've made a lay study as a person and a connoisseur of film that it usually takes a person about 10 years in a position within work of production and performance to become a leading actor on television for that split second in time. Like the girl from Alias, Jennifer Gardner, I predicted her fame. I watched her in an interview, and I think it was Good Morning America for something stupid like, Dude, Where's My Car? or whatever with Ashton Kusher. I think it was the leading man. And openly, I saw that girl and said, She's going to become something. Now, whether or not she's had the pick of the best roles, I cannot say. Whether or not she's chosen well, I won't say. The fact that she got herself as a starlet interesting enough to Ben Affleck how marvelous for them. Whether they're still married, I couldn't tell you. tell you. I'm not one of those guys who follows those scenes, but I am a predictor of life, and here's what I can tell you. The heavy pompouruses of the world are marvelous in what they're doing right now, but it's a flash in the American pan. It's amazing that American Idol has gone on for as many seasons as it can, but the bottom line is that everybody wants to be famous is not truthful today. What people want to be is a success in front of their own family and friends. But if family and friends attack a person's life, then they've just proven to God that they don't understand him at all. They've proven to the Lord that they thought they would play Lord most of all. And they fail themselves when they do this. The true gift of God is being of service to people. It's not reserving people that you came from, although some people do that. They play with that line on that timeline. But the truth is, if you want to be of service to people, sometimes you have to be willing to get up, move, stomp your feet, and do something else to provide people the safety that America deserves. Right now, many Americans are at risk, and most people don't think it, don't believe it, and don't want to see it. We are majorly at risk to the rest of the world. We have had a millennium of time in which these countries have been planning, have been incubating, have been stalling nothing, have been destroying their own countries because their eyes and their sights are on our land. 